I didn't think it would be that much of a challenge. Hey folks, it's Mary, AKA Mercy Triumphs, and this is Slow Crochet. Here at the end of summer, I decided to challenge myself to wear my crochet pieces every day for two weeks. Now y'all, this was a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it would be, partly because of the summer heat and partly because I realized man, I just don't have a lot of crochet that blends really easily with my standard clothing pieces. So this was my attempt to kind of get a handle on what my life actually looks like in terms of my regular workhorse clothes and how I can use crochet to enhance those outfits and really enhance my life. I want my craft to reflect my life. I wanna be involved in it. I wanna show it off, I wanna wear it, I wanna use it. I don't wanna just make to make, I wanna make to use and to enjoy and that it's not just the process of crocheting that is so much fun, but also getting to enjoy those pieces. So I'm gonna send you on a little journey through my style and what my life looks like. Y'all are gonna see some church outfits. Y'all are gonna see some running errands outfits. You're even gonna see some going to the gym outfits perhaps. Do watch the bottom for a little bit of information as I caption maybe the occasion that I'm wearing the crochet or what pieces in particular I was excited about for that day. And after all that's over, I'll come back with you and summarize my thoughts and what I've learned.
Let me just say, full disclosure, 
These were my outfits at the beginning of the day. Many times I would not be able to keep certain pieces on because of the heat or like after going to the gym, I'd have to have a shower and I would put on completely different clothes and so I wouldn't need that bag per se. But still, the intention was there and I feel like I did a fairly good job of keeping it interesting and being able to pull from a variety of my crochet pieces as I added those into my outfits. So one of my big takeaways, number one, y'all, I do not have a lot of warm weather crochet. <laughs> Maybe that isn't so unexpected because we do think of really cozy sweaters. Those are so much fun to make. Shawls are great to cuddle up in. Those are some of my favorite things, or even just the hats and the beanies, things like that. But I'm realizing, oh man, I don't have a lot of cotton tops. I don't have a lot of even bags. That to me is a missed opportunity in my wardrobe of being intentional of creating pieces that I'm gonna use in my wardrobe. Another thing I realized I was missing were some standard neutrals. I do have several very neutral colored shawls, but I don't have much plain black. So I think that's something that has already been on my mind as I'm buying yarns, but what are some colors, some neutral colors that I could use when I am adding crochet to an outfit? Black is definitely one of those colors that we tend to avoid because it can be hard to work with, but those pieces really could become workhorses in our wardrobes. They're so versatile. So I'm really challenging myself to step out of my no black comfort zone and just go there. Same thing goes for white. Same thing goes for other kind of khaki or neutral colors and making sure that when I am buying yarn, I'm not just going for the bright, bold, beautiful, rich, saturated colors that make my heart so happy, but I'm also remembering that I get as much joy from being able to wear and use the pieces that I've made. So big takeaways, definitely need to look for some more summer fibers, definitely need to look for some more neutral colors, and also think more about accessories outside of just the standard hats and scarves, you know, thinking more about the bags that I could have, maybe even summer scarves or head scarves or anything of that nature, maybe even little hair clips, things like that, ways that I could practically add crochet into my wardrobe. And let me say that too, that is a challenge with crochet because it tends to be lacier. So by necessity, you're gonna have to layer up a little bit if you wanna be a little bit more modest considering all the holes and the laciness of that crochet. It's just the nature of the craft. So definitely some things to consider as I look at my future purchases and as I work through my stash and making those choices. So yeah, so that has been my adventure. Let me know how you feel about wearing crochet. Is it something that you struggle with? Do you find yourself making a lot of crocheted pieces and then not ever wearing them? Do you find it hard to actually wear your crochet in real life, especially in the summer? Yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I see some of y'all new ones coming up in here. I do appreciate you. Thank you for everyone who comments and likes and shares and subscribes, all of those kind of YouTube algorithm happy things. I really do appreciate it. It's super encouraging and I do love interacting with y'all in the comments below. So let me know your thoughts. And if for whatever reason, I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I really do appreciate you. I really do. And I do hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.